Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be doing a what if. Being the thumb, what if the, the thumbnail of the what if is right here. This is going to be a universal intro from now on, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. Until I can get more time, because I do have school, summer school at least, I won't be able to post any really good intros. So this is going to be an intro for a while. So, hope to see you later. Join the Discord server, link in the description, and let's get in to the what if. Wait, wait, nigga. So obviously, let's go to the start of the what if. Now, the start of the, most of these what if is going to be much like the what if that you read on fanfic, where that gets extremely powerful. So yes. Now the story starts off with a f basically a four-year um with well who Deku's parents are. Now Deku's parents are Hisashi Midoriya and Inka Midori, the number five and number six pro hero at the time. And Izuku would obviously be born as a twin to his twin sister, Izumi Midoriya. And due to this, well, Izuku would actually have a pretty happy life, being friends, good friends, actually best friends with both of the Bakugo twins, which would be the only twin system I would be introducing into the story. So, years would go by until the age of four, when Izuku would find out, that it, when Izuku and Izumi are decided to find out the day, which quest they have today, since they ha their quests have not yet developed, and they would wake up their parents, obviously both excited, and upon waking up their parents and finally getting them ready, Iz uh, Inko would take Izumi and Izuku to the quest doctor, where they would take their do their tests and take their x-rays and everything. Now the doctor would then sit down, as he would then tell Inko, do you want the good news first or the bad news first? As Inko would say, the bad news. As he says, well, sorry to tell you this, man, but your son, he's quirkless. And this would literally shock Inko, but it would shock no more and more than Izuku. As he would then ask about, what about, um, what about Izumi? As he says that, well, she, she actually has a mixture of both you and your husband's quirk. She has a pyrokinesis quirk. As, he, as Inko grabs Izumi and is extremely happy, she tells the doctor thank you and leaves, almost leaving Izuku behind, but Izuku would obviously catch up to his mother and would go home. And upon arriving home, Izashi would then ask how did it go and where are their quirks. As Inko would tell Izashi that Izuku was quirkless and that Izumi actually has a pyrokinesis quirk, which is a, um, a combination of both of their quirks. As Izashi would be extremely happy and would decide, you know what? That day, he will decide from now on he's going to train Izumi. Seeing as how, while he did want to train his son, his son is now useless in, in his eyes. He doesn't have a quirk. He, in all honesty, if if he wasn't the number five hero, he would have basically just gotten Izuku and dumped him farther far away from from his house so that Izuku could never come back. Now, obviously, this news um this news will utterly shock Deku. And when Deku and Izumi would come home from the next day from school, they would both um be shocked when their uncle Toshinori was there. As Toshinori had come by to see what their quirks were, seeing as how this was the time of after school, he had came by to wait for them to come back. And when they came back, Toshinori would see them and they would scream Uncle Toshinori, and upon um and then give Ron and give him a hug. Yeah, I think in the hug and him settling down, Toshinori would then say that he came to find out what their quirks were. And then we we'll see Iz Izumi's um, mood brighten, but Deku's mood, Izuku's mood darken a little. As um, Toshinori, you know, we decide to question this later when he would then find out that Izumi has a pyrokinesis quirk. But when he would ask Deku, Deku would say quietly that he's, you know, quirkless. When Toshinori said he didn't hear him, Izumi said that Deku was quirkless. As Toshinori would ask, why did she call him Deku? She says that it means useless. Zoro says she kinda has thinks he kind she kinda has a point. And on the on the lines of the same thinking as Izumi, Toshinori would actually uh of uh, no not Izumi of uh, he's actually Toshinori would actually abandon Izuku also or, or would uh, would actually focus more on. Izumi, as his family would completely forget about Izuku for years. 
Now, when the Koski twins, the, the Bakugo twins, I, I don't know what's that, Koski, the Bakugo twins found out, then the two of them and Izumi would start to bully Deku, and for years this would go on. Now, this would, this is where we get into a time skip to the start of the anime. Now, <clears throat> um, the teacher would then come in. Wait, no, 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 not the start of the anime. But yeah, man, why not? Actually, so the teacher would come in with tests. As I believe it was either a, a career test or a uh, um, some um, not a test, but some applications to find out where the te where the students wanted to go to school at. When he would would uh, he would say that he already knows that most of them wanted to be heroes, as he throws the paper in the air. He would then go to his desk and would then begin to read out every student's school that they put down. When he would get to the Bakugo twins and Izumi, he would then say that they all applied for it. UA. When he would see another paper in the UA pile, he would look it up and says, "Oh, Izuku, Izuku Yagi applied to UA too." Now this will utterly anger his sister and the and the Bakugo twins. As when the teacher leaves later that day at the end of school, they will corner Deku with Bakugo's lackeys that were there in the anime or there now, as they will all beat up Deku. And after this, Deku, you know, would obviously take the same way home after getting up and everything, collecting his things, and would go under the go to the same underpass. I believe that's what you call it when there's no road under a bridge and you just walk under. It's an underpass, I believe. And would go under there when he would then hear the sewer lid come off. When he would then turn around to see a giant slide sludge slime thing. As a sludge says, I didn't know he was he was in town. As Neku's wondering who he's talking about when the sludge then would turn to him and says, Ah, oh, Leech Shield. As he would then begin to attack Izuko, and upon wrapping Izuku, um, basically, um, upon wrapping Izuku and trying to get into Izuku will begin to think, Am I gonna die? I never even got to become a hero. I can't die. As Izuku has pure determination in his eyes, as he won't give up. He's constantly trying to grab out when he would then hear voices. Do not fear, because I am here. As Izuku recognizes this as All Might's voice, his favorite hero, as he then hears All Might say, "Texas Smash!" As All Might would obviously go with punch, which was um, basically send Izuku out of the Sludge Villain and would split the Sludge Villain into many pieces due to the pure wind pressure from the attack. So. Um, after this, after a certain time, Izuku would actually pass out and would wake would wake it, awaken to All Might, who had utterly forgotten who Izuku was. He didn't even recognize him. And the young man would uh, Izuku, um touching on you obviously well would ask oh he would say, Oh, I thought I lost you there. Well, I'm off. As Deku would say, Wait, All Might, could you sign my as he's looking to see that he's already signed an autograph. When he sees All Might about to jump off he would then grab onto All Might as him and All Might go for a ride. As All Might sees this, he would say, Hey kid, let go. As Izuku says, No, if I do, I'll die. As All Might says, Ah, good point. As All Might lets him down. And from here, most everything goes to canon. Up until after the sludge villain, uh, uh, the sludge villain getting Bakugo and after Izuku saved him. Except with Izumi and Katsumi being there, both doing nothing. So, actually, this time. Um, after, um, uh, with all my meeting Izuku and Izumi again, um, instead of it being All Might, it would be their Uncle Toshinori who would come out. It's Toshinori would then say, ah, Izumi. And so he would then say, um, young man, can I speak with Izumi? And his Deku would say, I'm sure, Uncle Toshinori. As Toshinori would wonder, how does he know him, and why does he call him Uncle? As Izuku decides, you know what, why not spy on them? Well, he would then see, as his uncle would then introduce himself, and would then tell Izumi that he is All Might, before then asking Izumi a question. Will she become his, will she become his successor, being the successor to his quirk? As he would then begin to explain one for all, and says that it's a quirk that he can pass on. As Izumi would say yes, but before she would ask, what about Izuku? Why not give it to Izuku? Which to which All Might would say Izuku doesn't show what it doesn't show the determination in the will to become a true hero, but you do. As Deku would be began to be angered by this. As this was his last straw, as Deku walks out and punched Toshinori before then walking to the house and well into the house without his parents noticing. Obviously they don't care. 
So Izuku will walk to his room, pack his things before leaving, and will get on a train station on the train to get as far away from his parents and Uncle Toshinori and from his family as possible. As while on the train, Izuku will fall asleep, but would only wake up when he feels like something is happening, a disturbance of sorts. When he will look out to see the train is speeding, like it's going too fast, faster than the train is supposed to go. But instead of flames like you would expect something to go when it goes going as fast, ice begins to form on the windows. As Izuku looks up at the little tent, what is it called, the little HUD thing that shows what the next stop is, he would then see these weird symbols. And when the train would finally stop after going so fast, Deku would see, then see as the train doors open, as Deku would walk out of the train doors with his backpack on. As Deku then basically walks up, um, walks throughout the cave and wonders where is he. As this is where he would eventually wander to a room. Where he would then see what looks like an older version of him. It's basically the, this is going to be basically the Shazam from the Shazam movie. But he's basically in, in since, it's anim, since Deku is an anime. I'm going to make him look like the Shazam from Justice League War. Um, Flashpoint, or not Flashpoint actually, from Justice League War. I watched that movie also. So, with this, Izuku would then, um, you know, would obviously ask who the man is, wondering why does he look at, like him. As a man says that he is Billy Batson, but Izuku would recognize his name, as Izuku had obviously went to check back his ancestors to see who, if any of them were correctless. When Izuku would find, would say Batson, like, as in my great-great-grandmother, as Izuku would then ask what was her name. Uh, I'm just gonna give her a random name. Uh, she's, she's, I'm just gonna go with Rachel. As he says, my daughter, Rachel. It's like who says your daughter? He says, yeah. She she married some kid whose last name was Midor Midoriya. He says, no wonder you look so much like me when I was younger. As Izuku says, I look like you. As he says, yeah. So you must be my descendant. As Izuku says, wait. How are you alive if I'm your descendant? As, um, as, um, obviously, um, Billy would then begin to explain his powers, saying that he is Shazam, and that in his form, he stayed in his form, and in his form, he doesn't really age. He's always in his peak condition, in his peak form, being this age, obviously. Izuku would then ask, why is he here? As, he's, as, um... <clears throat> as Billy then says that he is here because he has chosen Izuku to be his successor, the next champion of, of the world, his champion, champion, his siblings champions. Izuku would look around and ask, where is his siblings? And his, he would say they all died hundreds of years ago, but he lived. As um, Deku would then wonder, as Billy would then say now, as Deku, he, was, he will then said Deku that he wants to test to see if Deku is truly pure of heart. He will basically give the test that the wizard had given the other people, if you've seen the Shazam movie. As the seven deadly sins would try to tempt Deku, but Deku would actually resist him, showing his immense willpower and showing that he is actually true of heart. As Billy says, I can sense that you harbor hatred, but you are so pure at the same time. You should learn to deal with their hatred, not to let it out on the world. As he would then say, now, say my, um, place your hand on the staff and say my name. As Deku says, Billy, as he says, no, not that name, the name. Oh, right. You're supposed to say, as he then writes it down, as he knows that if he changes, he'll turn into what will be considered an old person. As Deku would say, Shazam. As Billy would say, yes. Carry my name and with it carry my powers. The wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the spirit, and the, not the spirit, the speed of Mercury. As lightning struck the staff and struck Izuku, as when Izuku was, um, would basically um, would get back up, he would notice that he's a lot taller. He looks just like his um, ancestor. But he also notices his ancestor is rapidly aging. As all there's left is an old man. Probably in his late 70s. Maybe early 80s.
And Zuko says, Billy, what happened to you? He says, I'm old boy. But due to me being on the rock so long, it's staying in the form so long, I basically absorbed some magic. So I have, I want to say, 10 months to live, as Izuku said. Oh. As he says, but since I'm alive, why don't I train you in your abilities? And Izuku would thank Billy before Billy and Izuku would start their training. With Billy teaching Deku some martial arts and teaching him about all of his abilities. And this is where we get into a time skip to the end of their training. As Billy would then tell Deku that time is now up and Deku must go back. As Deku says, what about him? As Billy says, I'm fading. Boy. She says, now. But the Billy's, but before he could say anything, Deku says, wait, what about flight? I never learned to fly. As Billy was smirking, says, you're going to learn to fly, to fly the same way I learned to. And she says, oh, and grab these. As he throws Izuku some clothes. Basically being the clothes that you see in the thumbnail of child um, Billy. Of kid Billy um, Batson. Which I decided to use that thumbnail. It was another one with Shazam actually in it, but I decided to use this one. As he would then, as he would then um, basically tap his staff down to the ground. As he says, come back here one day. As he then, um, say, uses a spell to transfer some of the memories of, of the seals to allow Deku back into the... Um, into the cave whenever he wants and how to basically inscribe the seals and where to as he would then tap his staff on the ground again before um, Deku would notice he's falling to the ground as Deku says no 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 I don't want to die I don't want to die as he closes his eyes as he opens them again after feeling nothing and Deku notices he's flying he says whoa I'm flying as Deku would then um, begin to flow down, as one of the people would ask what hero, what, what hero is he? As Deku says, he's not a hero. He's just in his quirk transformation state, which comes in, which Deku will lie saying that it comes with the suit whenever he transforms when using his quirk. As the person says, oh, as Deku would say, um, what day is it, man? What time is it? As he would say, uh, I believe the UN entrance is in start at 8. So she would say, if, uh, what day exactly did the UN entrance is in start? He started on February 26th. So, they say February 26th, about 9 o'clock. So, Deku was like, 9 o'clock? As Deku um, knows that the UA entrance exam start at 9.30. So, Deku would then um, tra uh, fly to UA before landing outside, before saying Shazam. As everyone would then look as a huge golden lightning bolt strikes down, as everyone goes to see what happened, but no one is there. So, they don't know what happened. As Deku is walking, in the clothes that Billy had basically given him, as Deku looks more like the child Billy Batson, he trained him mostly in his um Izuku in his um Shazam form rather than in, in his space form, is what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> so, um, due to this, Deku would obviously you know do a lot of things. Um, Deku would actually look more like Billy Batson as a child, so he would still be scrawny Deku. So Deku would walk to the exam and would actually be seated next to Bakugo, Katsumi, and Izumi. That's as when the three noticed this, they would then say, Deku, what are you doing here? And Deku says, I'm here for the UN entrance exams. And leave me alone. She's, as they all say, Ch as they say, you all fell anyway. Nothing but a quirkless use loser. I say user. I say quirkless user. A quirkless loser. As the entrance exams would start. And now I'm going to time skip to... He started the practical exam. As he would then say, go to test area. I believe Deku went to test area B. As him and Izumi would actually be in the same test area. With Koski and Katsumi being in the same area. Also, which was test, which was test, um, test unit A. I don't know why. I just said the word and I don't know why I forgot it. This is kind of the reason why I try not to post too much. Because I know I forget things too much. But yeah. So obviously Izuku and then um, and, Ka and Izumi will walk towards the UA entrance exam. As Izumi starts to say some small talk. He says, "Deku, where have you been for the past ten months?" Deku says, "None of your business. Training. Well, no, <laughs> that, would be, that would be the opposite of what else he just said. None of your business." As Izumi says, "It doesn't matter. You're still useless." As they will, as when they get there. Prison Mike would come around as the uh, doors begin to open. As everyone sees as Izuku begins to walk, as Prison Mike says, 
What are you all waiting for? What, follow his lead. There's no countdowns to a battle. Go, go, go. They all begin to rush as Izuku, as they all see Izuku ahead of him. But he hasn't taken down any robots. Izuku runs up until a up onto a three pointer before rubbing it. Not rubbing it. Whoa. Pause. Before then jumping, on, running to it and jumping on it before hugging it. And everyone then hears him say one word. One word that will echo around the world. Shazam! As the lightning bolt strikes down where Izuku is. As Izumi sees this. As Izumi is wondering, he has a quirk? And he hid it from us this whole time? Upon us thinking the same thing that Bakugo would think of canon. That basically Deku had thought that he uh, wasn't worthy of knowing of his quirk. So she would definitely get to talk about talk to this about her parents and to Bakugo and to the two Bakugo twins. And her uncle All Might. As Deku and this is the form, we began to take on many robots and this, and upon gathering, I wanna say around hundred and fifty points, Deku would say Shazam again, but would fly to the top of the building before saying Shazam. As he would sit on the top of the building. As he begins to watch the rest. As the time skip to the um, towards the end of the exam, as um, President Michael says, two minutes left in the exam, as Deku would take the um, warning, will begin to head out when he would then hear screaming and his feel, feel rumbling. As Deku looks and he sees a girl with brown hair about to be no, 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 not a girl with brown hair. Who do I want the ship to be? Because I don't want to be Uraraka. So I want it to be a um. A girl with blonde hair, obviously. It, um, don't know much about her, so uh, we're gonna say this is Cammy, obviously. As yes, Deku would um then begin to help um would then say Shazam as he jumps off the building. As Nezu says, "Wow, we have a lot of interesting examinees, especially that boy with the black with the black hair and blue eyes and the red hoodie, who can transform with his quirk by saying one word." As the, with all the um, teachers asking who what's the name of this boy, as he would then say that this is Izuku Yagi, uh, um Izuk not Iz Izuku Midoriya. As the, as um, Hisashi, Inko, and All My hearing this, will look at the screen to see Izuku. As they say he has a quirk. Well, but well, actually his parents would say that. But Toshinori would say he has a quirk, huh? Um, you can see that he still wants to be a hero. Good for him, I guess. Doesn't know he doesn't care too much, but his parents are actually absolutely livid. Are angry to the max. They're, I'm not about to say that. This is gonna make me sound corny. Extremely mad. As they're wondering, why did Deku hide his quirk from them? They could have trained him this whole time to become a top hero. But no, he hid his quirk from them. And Deku's been missing all this time, but now they suddenly care about their son. So, obviously, Deku would then begin, um, would then go to the Zero, before, would then go to Kami, before then grabbing her from under the rubble, before flying up. He says, you might want, um, he says, hold on tighter. Or as he says, crawl around to my back. As Kami crawls around to his back, as Deku then holds his fingers up, as Kami sees lightning begin to emit around him. As Deku shoots a lightning blast at the um, zero pointer before short circuiting it and causing it to explode. As this would um, mark the end of the entrance of them, as Deku would let Kami down, as Kami would say thank you before then giving Deku a kiss on the cheek. As this would mark the end of the UA entrance of Zams. And this would mark the end of part one of what if Deku was Shazam, has Shazam's powers, and what if Deku was Shazam? I put Shazam powers in the in the, in the um, thumbnail because it came out a lot looking a lot better than what if Deku had Shazam was Shazam rather than what if Deku has Shazam's powers. It well, it looks better with what if Deku has Shazam's power than what if Deku has with Shazam. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Discord link in the description. Join it. I will see you guys later. Peace and goodbye.